Hi, today I'm going to talk about preparing the wheel balancer for the tire changing season. I'm going to show you only the actions that you can do yourself without having to call the tech support. One first thing to remember, your wheel balancer and its internal parts should all be kept clean. Before you start any maintenance jobs, you have to disconnect your balancer from the power source. Use compressed air to clear the internal parts of the balancer. Blow onto the optical sensor of the wheel cover. Remove dust from the plates and connectors. Clear the sensor of the gauge. Remove all the dust using a dry and clean rag. Do not use any chemical products for this purpose. Remove the belt from the roller. Make sure to check it visually. It should be clean and free from any damage. Check the belt condition. There should be no grooves or rubber lack. Use a clean rag with a lot of spirit. Remove dust from underneath the belt. Why is it so important? Because when you clear the pulley and the belt, you are making the balancing process even more precise than ever before. And one more thing, if you clear it, there is no risk that the belt ever slips, even if you balance heavier wheels. And now we can clean the shaft from the inside. To clean the shaft, use a special solvent. We tighten the cones that keep the flying spring cover to remove the safety ring. We take this element off. And now take the quick release hub off. Ring and spring. Clean the inside of the shaft. Make sure to clean the cover. Clean the spring from dirt. Reassemble it in another way. Put the spring and ring on. Put the cover back inside the shaft. Put the ring back inside. And one more thing to remember before the season starts. You have to check the nut, the cones, as well as the shaft. Just one more thing before you start the season for changing tires. You have to remember that you have to carry out the calibration procedure. I'm not going to show you that because the calibration procedures can vary depending on the model, and the manufacturer, so it's always a good idea to consult your instruction manual to do the calibration.